Ron, may I ask you to come on stage? So Ron is going to talk about Swarm. Ron is an app developer. He's working for over a year now to bring the Swarm storage to Nextcloud. You're going to talk a bit about that with us. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. And it's, I know it's the final presentation. So I'm Ron. I'm from MetaProvide. Uh, we are an organization that we are providing basically technological tools to help the well-being sector. Um, the well-being sector being therapists, linking therapists, well-being well service providers with people who need that type of service. And we're providing online tools for that. We are a very diverse team uh, made up from various different professions, um, some volunteers and also from various locations in the world. So I'm from Portugal. I've come on board MetaProvide to, uh, as a challenge to uh, make some more tools for this organization. Um, we have an active involvement with um, Nextcloud. Adminly.org is up and running, and they're a, one of our team members is also a contributor to the Breeze Dark theme. And as a team, we've um, developed the talk feature in the talk app, which allows video recording. So that's not why I'm here. We've developed our next phase of um, our mission as an organization, and that's Swarm. Anyone here? Put your hands up if you know I've heard of Swarm. Good. And uh, anyone running a node? A B node that accesses the Swarm node? No. So some of us know who Swar what Swarm is. Our challenge here was to bring Swarm to Nextcloud through the external storage files, which we all use as part of a common feature in Nextcloud. So it's built on PHP. It's got a Vue JavaScript front end. And we've really worked to seamlessly integrate that into what is existing today um, for file storage. We connect to the, to the Swarm, to B nodes via um, the FSwarm client library, which is op all open source. And uh, what is Swarm then? Swarm, we can define that as a self-sovereign decentralized storage built on the Ethereum blockchain. It has many features that is a viable alternative to Google Drive, Dropbox, and other main centralized storages that we all use today. And uh, this is an alternative which is open source, borderless, fault tolerant, and resilient. And it's a step closer to European data strategy of Web3. Um, Victor Tron is one of the main contributors to the Swarm technology. He is um, very active as the initial founder of Ethereum. And this is really bridging the gap using blockchain, Ethereum, and decentralized storage. So how does it work in Nextcloud? Well, we need a working B node. As I said, it's open source. It's on GitHub. We can download that. Um, we can run it on a Raspberry Pi on any Linux box. And um, it's once installed. It's a very, very easy install. Um, there's a lot of good documentation on their site. Um, once installed, we need a checkbook. That's a wallet. And as it's tokenized, there's, an, uh, there's a self-sustainability feature of it. We need some tokens. Once we have the tokens set up, we have our decentralized storage accessed privately through Nextcloud. So we can configure various storages on one Nextcloud instance. And um, the main part of our development was actually to allow you to administer the node through the administration settings. So that, what does that mean? We have a node, we have an IP address and a port, and basically we just configure that inside the administration settings. And uh, another feature is that we've added status and monitoring of the node inside Nextcloud. So the real challenge there was to make it seamless. And once set up, you use it just like any other file storage. It appears on the files, um, and it appears as a folder. You download, you move, copy files, 
from other storages, and we're working on a lot of other features as well. Um, every time there's an upload, it, the actual B node returns a hash reference. That hash reference is your unique identifier of your file on the B node network, and that can be downloaded within Nextcloud, or you can access that and share it with your friends, um, share, share that resource. So um, we have working on a lot of other features. It's available now on the App Store, and we're very excited to be able to launch that this week. And there are a few flyers around that you'll see downstairs. We're on GitHub, so that's a simple also um, access to the work that we're doing. So I've kept it short and sweet, but I really invite you to click uh, and explore and have a B node running for your own private use. Thank you. Excellent, Ron.